Hey YouTube, my name is Kids Coding, and today we're going to be going over the HEX values in this video. So if you haven't watched my CSS colors video, what we are basically doing is that we are going to be incorporating one step further into what we learned in that video. If you haven't seen that video, then be sure to click on the top right hand corner to view that. So anyway, so we're going to be pretty much talking about HEX values. So from what we can do there, um, how do we get the values? Those, that is like the question you guys might be asking. And there is one simple solution to go to the website, htmlcolorcodesinfo.com. So here we have reach the website, htmlcolorcodes.info. I think I said .com by accident, but here is the website, htmlcolorcodes.info. So what we can do here is that we can select the text color that we want. So let's say I'm going to pick red because red is obviously the best color in the world. Okay, so um, that is the color code. And when we go from there, now we can do exactly what we did in the last video, but instead we can apply this HGX value that we just did. So um, let's say I did um, style and then let's do that and let's say let's just simply say color and then um let's go back to our thing let's copy that oh, what's that okay copy that and then let me go to my thing and then we'll paste it and from there we are good to go and then Let's say we can just, now we just need to do the HTML just a little bit. Has, can be pretty simple. Let's do that just to show that that's what it is. So in other words, this is the HX value right here. And it pretty much is in other words saying red. So that's the HX value. It always starts out with a hashtag. So from here, let's save it. And then let's come to our edge or whatever um you, wherever you have it i don't think i currently have it loading let me go to my files and reopen it where is it there it is and as you see it will give the text color in red um you can do the same thing with other things like we can do background color and we can do the same thing and then um, because it's anyway gonna end up with two reds, let's make the color um, a different color too. So let's say we're gonna make the color um, white. But um, let's make it bold. No, that's not what I want. Because like red and white don't really look that good that well. Or let's say strong. Strong I think will work. So by the way, what I'm trying to do, if you haven't watched my HTML series, I'm kind of applying a little bit more HTML into there. So um, I'm not sure what lesson I taught this thing at, but you can view my HTML playlist at the top right hand corner. But anyway, that's basically what I'm trying to do. So what this strong element does is that it will pretty much make this text bolder. So let's save it and reload to see what happens. And as you see, it gives a red background and it gives some white. We added the strong element so it made it bold. That is that, as simple as it is. And then we can do our borders and all that kind of stuff. But I'm not gonna do it from there. So this was just pretty much a shortened video. And by the way, if you didn't know, um, you, can, if, you can choose any color from here. Every color has its own unique HEX value. Right here is the HEX value, Control C, Control V. That copies and pastes it. And then, bam. You can just do that. So, that was just pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to deliver a really short video about HEX values. What HEX values really do is that they just pretty much, um, they, they're pretty much another way of expressing colors. So, um, what's a good what's good for that kind of color let's say orange so yeah um this is another kind of it's kind of going along with my last thing 
So okay, let me wrap it up this way. So um, that was pretty much HEX values once again. Um, if you had any doubts, you can head on to my website at kidscoding.com if you um, just just to learn more in general. And yeah, that is just pretty much it. Have fun with experimenting with this. There are so many HEX values that are on the chart. So many um, colors with so many values. Just keep experimenting and having fun. This is honestly like kind of my favorite thing to do, like in my opinion. It's like kind of it's kind of fun because the other values that I'll cover, RGB and HSL, those are a little bit harder. I just wanted to go with this one first because it's what probably like the most easiest one. And yeah, as you see here, you can just change it to whatever color you want. So that was pretty much it with HEX values. Once again, if you had any doubts, you can go to my website at kidscoding.com. And if you're new, be sure to subscribe to the channel for more notifications. And I'll see you all next time.